Hello, truth seekers. It's great to be back home. I love my mommy. I'm praying for her, but there's nothing like home. Hold up in my basement on this video. I actually just left a live Facebook with Courageous Women of Christ. So if you want to check out that talk, I may try to upload it on my YouTube channel. Um, it is on Facebook. I know some of you are not on Facebook. So if that's the case, that's why I'm trying to upload it um, to my channel so that you can check it out. But it was live and it was interesting. We had some technical difficulties. Um, that's how it goes. Uh, but at the end of the day, we talked about prayer and we talked about being persistent in prayer. And we talked about how a lot of people are struggling with stuff. And sometimes it's just like, I just want to give up. You all know, for those who have been following me for a while, that I have been struggling with my body, treating this body like the Holy Spirit temple it should be. Being lazy, not working out, I've been putting on weight. It seems like some of my friends are like yo-yoing and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm not going down at all. And I, I'm not talking about this from a vanity perspective. I could care less what I look like. What I care about is what I feel like. I know I am struggling with some desolation, some moments of depression. I am fighting constantly this laziness, this slothfulness, just I sometimes, some days, I'm like, where am I going to get the energy to do this? And then I pray to God and I go through my litany of gratitude. And I got to a point, actually on November 1st, was going to be when I decided I'm going to juice. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to juice. What is that? Well, I bought me a juicer on TV. I'm one of those people that buys those silly stuff on TV thinking that they'll work. But this is actually a pretty good juicer, by the way. And I was going to start on November 1st because I said, look, I'm not giving up. I am not giving up the fight. I am not going to give up wanting and desiring to feel better, to have more energy, to take care of this gift, this beautiful manifestation of the Holy Spirit is our bodies. It is a gift from God. And I am not going to take advantage of it anymore. Take it for granted. Just not appreciate what God has given me. Two arms, two legs. I am healthy for the most part outside of being, you know, a little overweight and being laziness and kind of lethargic, not much energy. So I'm not giving up. Darn it, I'm not giving up. So I bought a juicer. I was going to start November 1st, but then flew down to take care of my mom and um, spent 10 days there. And when I came back, I was like another five pounds up. I know it was bloat, but geez, we were eating horribly because there wasn't anything in the refrigerator. We were moving her from one house to the other. And it was like, you know, hamburgers and french fries and pizza for four nights in a row. I mean, it was bad. And then she had Halloween candy in there. And I figured, well, I'm eating this bad. I might as well eat that too. And so, yeah, when I got home, I was like, I'm done. I've got to do something. And I'm going to do it now. I wasn't going to start until Friday, but I started Thursday. Just this past week, I started juicing. And today is Saturday morning. No, it's Saturday afternoon. It's Saturday afternoon about 1.30. And I am feeling awesome. All I've drank is juice. I haven't eaten anything solid since Thursday morning. And I'm like, wow, maybe this will be helping me. I'm going to try and do it all the way until Wednesday. I have um, luxury. It's, it's a beautiful gift of my time right now. My husband went on a trip and he won't be back until Tuesday or Wednesday. And so I am taking this opportunity to take care of myself and to do some drastic things. You remember the video I did a couple weeks ago saying change up one thing? Well, that was when I was going to start juicing. But it's made a difference and I'm not hungry. I'm really surprised. 
And it's making me be so grateful that I'm actually stopping and I'm going to do a little retreat, a little mini silent retreat, getting closer to God. I will still be doing my daily audible podcasts, which you can see at realityreflections.com or here. It's not videos. That I'll be doing Monday through Friday so that those who walk with me every day still have me walking with them. But other than that, no other social, no other videos, because I want to spend time with God. And I know there are a lot of you out there who are really feeling like giving up. Those who live in America with the election that's going on, the division, the anguish, the frustration, Maybe you're overeating, over drinking to deal with it. Maybe you're taking drugs. Maybe your outlet is pornography or you're having an affair or you're sleeping around or you're doing something, some temptation. Some temptation is taking you away from God because you're not going to God for your solace and your peace. And you're not going to God to find that peace and that love that joy, you're trying to find it in the worldly things. Because sometimes we give up going to God for his help, for his guidance, for his mercy. Whatever you are struggling with, do not give up. Life is a journey. And when you keep going up and down those peaks in the valleys, remember that when you're in the valley, there's always a mountain in front of you. Just keep walking. Ask God for his strength in your moment of weakness. Deliver those evil spirits away when they're tempting you to go off the path. Fight through the desire not to pray. Fight through the desire not to go to daily mass. Fight through the desire not to go to confession because you don't feel like it. I don't need it. I'm fine. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Fight it every moment. Because God wants the fight. Every day is a spiritual battle. And we can win every day with ease if we call on God. (laughs) It's really just that simple. But we don't because we're too busy. We're too lazy. We're too selfish. Right? We just want that pleasure. We want what we want when we want it. And we're going to make the wrong decisions if we don't stop, pause, and pray. I have a video on that. I think it's called Stop, Drop, and Roll. Watch that too. Don't give up. Keep walking. Keep praying. Keep staying on that path. And if you fall off, call on God. Go to confession. Say an act of contrition every day. I know some of you across the globe are shut down and confession isn't an option, nor is mass. But don't don't give up that relationship with God. Pray more. Pray more. Because he will get you out of that desolation. Know that whatever desolation you're in, consolation's right around the corner. We just have to keep doing it, whether we like to or not. And I'll sum it up with this. Because love is a choice, not a feeling. That goes for God and everyone around us and you. So love yourself and don't give All right, everyone. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Let's thank God for our lives, for all of the blessings in our lives, for the beautiful things that we take for granted, and praise and thank him every day, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. It is right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. And when you do, I promise you, 
you will feel lighter. You will feel more energetic. You will feel more joy. The attitude of gratitude to the man, to the power, to the almighty God, where it deserves to be. Alrighty. Sorry. I had to throw in that last stuff. I love you. Have a blessed and inspired day. Share in the comments what you're struggling with. And oh, by the way, don't forget, if you need some faith coaching, reach out. I'm there. I've been digging it. I love it. I'm telling you, it fills my cup. I love you. Have a blessed day. Take care.